Hey everybody, it's Austin. We are back under the tundra today with an install preparing for our five week road trip that starts this week. And it is in our Palomino pop-up camper. And what we're doing today is installing some frame mounted tie downs brackets uh, to mount the back side of the camper to the truck. Uh, originally, I've been using the Brophy over the cab brackets that go just over the sides, which I'm still gonna be using in the front, but the way they were looking on our truck, um, originally, because the camper is longer than the truck bed, the tie down points on the cab were so far up um, that the chain was coming at like an angle. So when we were up in the bed of our camper, it felt like it could tip forward. So I decided to spend the money and get the frame mounted brackets that we're installing that go right on the hitch of the truck. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's super easy with just three bolts. All right, so as you can see here, this is what we're installing. And it is a bracket that you are able to insert the uh, tie down bracket to. Uh, you can remove it so it doesn't look like you have one of those on all the time, which is super nice. And all it does is mounts to the three points on your frame on your hitch so let me show you where those are all right so we're under the passenger side of the truck and this is the hitch there's the back of the truck right here and you just have these two bolts that you remove with a 19 millimeter socket and we utilize this hole as well for the bottom of that bracket and that's literally all you have to do remove those two put up your bracket install these two install this one with the washer on the back and that's it so we're going to go ahead and install that and show you guys how it works at the end all right so you just break these loose with your half inch ratchet maybe I know when I installed the, instep, the step on the driver's side, which I'll link the video here, um, these were super hard to get off. So I might need to get out my breaker bar. But that step was super nice, but I had to remove it for this install, unfortunately. Oh, I just got to bench press a little bit. Uh, benching that 50 pounds really helps out right about now. Get those started and then break out break out the little Milwaukee ratchet make this go a little bit faster We grab our bracket here and it only fits on one way. So you can see this curved edge fits the contour of the hitch. So you just go ahead and put that up in there and have your have your uh, screws ready that you just took out, your bolts rather. Just gonna put that up in there. Get that started. Don't cross thread it. Got that one started. Grab the other one. Somebody time me. I think I think I'm gonna be setting records right now. Get those going. And then we're gonna tighten those on just a little bit. Alright, and then leave them kind of loose because you wanna be able to let me show you this can move up or down a little bit so it has a little bit of play so you can move up and down about half an inch and i found that with it pushed up it still clears the bumper just fine so there's no worries there so i'm gonna push it up and then 
tighten it down. And then it comes to the zone hardware. Got your grade eight bolts. So since we saw that oval hole, you gotta have a spacer to go in between there, a washer. So you take your, your grade eight bolt with your washer, put it through there and then stick it through from the back side. So that comes through right, right in here, right there. And then you take your flat washer, lock washer, and nut, put them on the bolt flat washer first, then lock washer, then nut. And then you just kind of hold that with your fingers, the nut, and then you can tighten it down using the bolt on the other side. And it's the same size as the factory bolts. Go ahead and get that snug down. All right. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here's the grade A bolt from the uh, spare tire side of the bracket with the washer on that side. And then the washer, lock, washer, nut on this side. And then you just go ahead and torque this down to 50 foot pounds and you're good to go. So when you're torquing down this bottom bracket bolt, you can throw your um, 13 16 wrench on the nut side to allow you to torque it down. That was easy. If you already installed your uh, TRD exhaust, like I did right here, don't uh, don't ding it up. It's expensive. All right, so now that it's installed, we just ins put the bracket in. It goes on like this. And it has two settings. These brackets are by Torque Lift, by the way. I'll put the link down below. They have a hole here and a hole here for different uh, widths of trucks. Slide this in. And my mine fits to the second hole. So you just do that, and then you take your cotter pin, pull the end off, put it through snap it back over 
and these babies are, are good to go. Well, this is kind of a, a fun view. Well, I hope this helped you guys out and this uh, setup could work on your truck as well. They're definitely way more expensive than the Brophy tie downs, but I think they're a little bit more secure being that they go to the frame and um, I'm just putting them on the back because I, I trust the Brophies on the truck bed, but it was just the positioning that wasn't great with my truck. So I put these on here and I'm excited to see how they work out. And you guys stay tuned because we're gonna try to capture our camping trip over the next five weeks, stopping at many national parks. So stay tuned for that. And we're really excited to share that adventure with you guys. So we'll see you on the next one and stay safe.